Hey, good morning, Pastor Steve here. In Hebrews 10.25 says, Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. You know, often I've had this verse dragged out to harangue the saints who have been skipping services. And while there's an implication there that the gathering is, is of utmost importance, this was not intended to be a point of sermonizing about attendance, but about something far richer. In 23 and 24, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. That's the purpose of gathering together. A businessman I know who operated on both sides of the U.S. and Canadian border in the area of my first church spoke of the government officials on either side. He said, in Canada, when the officials showed up, then how can we help you? there. But on the U.S. side, it was, what are you doing wrong? <laughs> In an age when accountability seems to be uh, the watchword for, for ministries, we may all too easily adopt the second approach. While that may be a needed part of accountability, I think we miss the point. The real crux of accountability is found in the preceding verse, that is a gathering together to stimulate doing right, fostering a, a good soil for well-doing. Paul says that we're to gather to teach and learn in Ephesians 4.12, to perfect the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So, so don't forsake the assembly. It might look like the following story from my for, former pastor up in northern Maine. He worked most Sundays, often unable to come to services. He was in law enforcement. He came when he could. I remember one brother coming up and saying, hey, I haven't seen John in church lately. What's up? I, maybe a bit sarcastically, because I need to work on edifying too, said, well, that's funny, I have. He looked puzzled said, what? I said, well, every Monday I have coffee with John, and we discuss the sermon, what's going on with the body. We're the church. He looked almost angry as he said, yeah, but he hasn't been here. I said, ah, now isn't it rather arrogant to expect brothers to come to us when we have the ability to go to them and help them be built up in the holy faith? <sighs> Sorry about that. Now, don't you lie on me. Don't go and say that Pastor Steve's against gathering at the church. I'm not. But I want to promote what I see all of you want to promote. A brotherhood that lasts from day to day and truly builds up others and brothers and sisters in the faith and promotes doing right. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.